Robotic human surrogates are making our world a safer place. The core idea of surrogates is about this technology that allows us to be in the safety and comfort of our own homes and yet experience life vicariously because a robot is doing it for us. You have a fully functioning robot, but one that has skin that feels like skin and has eyes that look like eyes and to all intents and purposes looks like a human. You can sort of look however you want. So you could be a man, you could be a woman, you could be a child. We're living pseudo lives, but the real person is at home controlling this. Essentially, they're in a world without consequences. Surreys have jumped from bridges, been shot, even blown to bits without the least bit of harm to their operators. The future world of the surrogates that I created in the graphic novel was very much like modern day, except you just have surrogates. Bruce Willis plays an FBI agent, but of course he stays at home in the safety of his apartment and allows his robotic surrogate to go out and perform all the dangerous tasks that involve with being an FBI agent. I get to do both things. I get to be a surrogate and I get to be human me. We are confronted with an unprecedented situation. Two people have died while connected to their surrogates. I think we may actually have a homicide here. First one in years. The public cannot be allowed to get the idea that using a surrogate can be fatal. How do I stop this? Maggie, get offline. I think something's going to happen. People identify with the story immediately because they see it in their own lives. That makes for a pretty rich experience for the audience. What happens now?